What really helped me uh, uh, get better than I, when I first returned was uh, psychotherapy. It is proven the medication that we give uh, people uh, who have PTSD or, or operational stress injuries is just to help with their symptoms while the psychologist gets us through the psychotherapy. Uh, behavior, uh, cognitive, um, uh, other kinds of psychotherapy. I'm not a, a mental health specialist, but I do know that it's the psychologist that really, really, really gets, helps you deal with it because, of course, it never goes away. It never goes away. It never goes away. PTSD will uh, come back when you least expect it. Uh, I was awarded a prize uh, recently, or an award, I'm sorry, uh, by Le Collège des Médecins. And just before I, I stepped on to the stage to receive the award, uh, I had f uh, vivid flashbacks of Afghanistan. So. It'll, it'll come back and smack you in the face when you least expect it. So. Extraordinary. And, the, and does it help to tell your story? Um, I hope I, I told my stories, uh, my story to try and help others, and it has worked. I have had some guys uh, come in and said and say to me, uh, before I saw you, before I saw you admit that you had PTSD, uh, I was just suffering, and now uh, if you can admit to it, I'll admit to it, and I'll go get help. So mm -hmm. I've helped a lot of guys about that. So and I I, I hope to help some more guys uh, and girls come out. I have heard that, that um, I, think, I think timing is the important thing, but I have heard that telling your story or talking about something traumatic that has just happened several times over the next few days can actually embed the memory and make it worse. That is uh, the current theory, as I understand it, uh, that if you uh, retell the story, uh, relive the story uh, a, a few times within the first few days after it happened, that it does make it worse. But later on, I th my impression is, having spoken to a lot of men who've who have PTSD, is that, is that they seem to feel that telling their story now with some distance well, is, if, uh, is helpful. If you have a hundred guys, you'll have a hundred different brain structures, of course. There's a different personality to start off with and different ways of seeing life and so on. So that it helps some, but others it doesn't at all. So some should not tell their story. I don't know. I'm not a mental health specialist, but I, I, I hate to apply one rule fits all to PTSD. Uh, some people believe that uh, horse therapy will, will help them. Others uh, uh, say that the dog helps them. Others say that uh, doing uh, uh, physical exercise helps them. Others, it's uh, smoking pot. And others, it's uh, taking drugs. I don't know. But I can tell you something, that different things work for different people. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, trial and error thing. Got it. Absolutely got it. That's it. What should we be doing better about making war a little less damaging? Oh, you said before, don't get into it. Just don't get into it. I think if you open the Pandora's box of war, you're releasing some really, really bad uh, devils that nobody had predicted would be in there. So just try and avoid war at all costs, at all costs, uh, except, of course, when you're physically threatened or your, your, your own security is threatened or your country's security is threatened or your ally's security is threatened. Then we have no choice.